Today we're going to talk about the immune. the immune system and the lymphatic system. We're going to start with the handout that is entitled Hardwired Natural Defense Systems for Health. I would like to have you think of going to see Best Buy and telling the people you'd like to buy a computer. And they say, well, well, what do you want? And you give them kind of an idea and they will, they will guide you and you'll pick out a computer and you tell them what you're gonna do with it. And then they will say to you something like this. By the way, you buy the nice computer. <laughs> sneak in, sneak out. Pardon? She put a check on your team. Oh. took her supplements. Oh, she got, got them? Yeah. 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 Okay. So, the, the salesperson will say to you, your computer is, has this program, and this program, and this program, and this program already in it, okay? And you will, look, you will say, I don't have any idea what that one's for. And they'll say, well, it's in there if you need it. So when, you're, when you came to Earth as a baby, you were hardwired like the computer with many built-in programs. In the healthcare, we, we call them systems. You have the cardiovascular system, which is very, very complex. You have the neurological systems, S, which is very complex. And, you know, doctors think they're pretty smart, but honestly, when we take the best doctors and the best minds and the best schools, in reality, they, they, we just have a surface scratch of what's really in the body. The body is so much better able to do things than we can even start to comprehend. And we'll talk about some of that. In fact, let's go right to that first word angiogenesis that's a fancy word for the body's ability to make new blood vessels to pro to provide blood flow to every cell in the body and the truth is and this there's a measurement there capillaries are, capillaries are the smallest part of the blood vascular system and the capillaries are so small that red blood cells go through them single file one at a time they can't go through holding hands they have to go through on their own but they go very very fast they carry nutrients and then they, that's the end of the artery portion when they pass the capillary, now it becomes vein portion, and the veins carry the blood back to the heart, back to the lungs to get detoxified and cleaned out. Those cells are so small, the red blood cells are so small, you, you can't see them with the naked eye. You have to look at them under a microscope at least 40 times power to see them good. And, and but there are billions of them, so that's part of the part of the reason I'm telling you this is because the, the human body was the, was created in the image of God by God, not just from without, not just the shape, the form, you know, the, the general features but the internal, internal mechanisms, the, the internal working parts that are happening so fast, we can't even comprehend. For example, if you take something like one of the products that helps you strengthen your immune system, and it, it, has, it says it has three billion of those little objects that, that go into your gut, you know, 
how many are three billion? It, we can't even comprehend that. No, we can't. Yeah. I can't. Joe Biden might be able to. He's in his casket. I'm not sure if he really does either. But, oh, my goodness. But, but again, so I underlined that for you. The number of vessels varies according to need. So when you have a new injury, if you stub your toe, you, you know, anything at all, if you eat something bad and hurt your gut, and you need more blood, the body is right there to make new blood vessels to provide food for it. And diet has a big, is a big factor on your body's ability to make new blood vessels. It needs, it needs whole, ripe, raw fruits and vegetables and a wide variety of fats and a wide variety of meats to make everything the most healthy. Now, I use the word meat, meat. A lot of people get uptight when we're talking about eating meat for some, for various reasons. The truth is, all, uh, most meats that are available for human consumption were designed by God for people to eat when they need it. Meat is a source of food storage. Think of it that way. You can have a, if it's a fish in the sea, you're not going to need to seaweed. You're not going to need to little things that float around in the, in the ocean. But the fish can eat them. And so when you need food and the fish are available, you can eat the fish. When you have wild game roaming the mountains and the prairies and, and, and they, they're eating things, even cows and sheep and chickens and ducks and geese and all of the different kinds of birds, they eat things that you and I wouldn't eat. And when we get into trouble and can't get in season fruit and vegetables, we can have them as food storage. So keep that in mind. And you will be more healthy if you eat a wide variety of, of meats that will help you make better. All of, this, all of these hardwire systems function better with that. Now, the next one, the regeneration. We have talked quite a bit about stem cells and what they do. Think of stem cells like a wild card. They can, you can use a stem cell wherever you need. This morning I, had, I saw a fellow who has a very bad sore in his leg. It's been there for several months and he's, get, he's going to the hospital once a week to get local stem cell injections. He didn't know anything about the magnet stem. He didn't know that he could your body's making their own, your own stem cells, but it does. And you can enhance that nutritionally with the, with the magnet stem. All, and all, it says, the tissue regenerates. Keep in mind, all tissue regenerates at a different speed. So it's not, everything doesn't change at the same time. It's kind of like road work. You know, they were always working on the roads, always somewhere, somewhere. And it would be devastating if they just shut all the roads down to do all the work. They don't do that, neither does the body. It gives you new red blood cells, it gives you new bones, it gives you new hair, new fingernails, new lining of the gut, and they all take different lengths of time. And the, and the time of the length that the life expectancy of each tissue varies according to its need and it varies according to its spe specialty like brain cells last a long long time bone cells last you know, like 10 years discs like last a long time the lining of the, the gut <laughs> turns over very fast because, because it gets used a lot the next one is the microbiome <clears throat> When we talk about the microbiome, I'd like to think, have you think about it like 
a zoo. We all have in our small, small intestine organisms that are alive. They do, they do things. They help us digest food if they're the right kind, if they're friendly. And the more, the more variety of friendly flora you have in the small intestine, the stronger your immune system. So people who have autoimmune disease, for example, they, people, and that's a sad thing because medically, if you have an autoimmune disease, medically they try to slow down the immune system so that the body doesn't tear itself down. I think it's, we should do exactly the opposite. We should build the immune system up so that the body fixes itself and we provide nutrients and food and nerve flow from the spine, and blood flow to build the tissue back up so that the body repairs. And that comes from the microbiome. And, that, and recently in the last few years, there have been many, many researches done on that. That's a big deal. And a lot of things coming out to help the, the gut. The product that I use that's most effective is for the Flora Plus. We do the Flora Plus in cycles. So we put a lot in, and we let the body do what it can by it doing less, and we do more. That helps a lot. DNA protection. The, the DNA portion of your cells. Now you and I will never see a DNA. We, to see what DNA it is, you have to have an electron microscope. It's a very, very small, very, intricate design. You can see pictures in textbooks and on what they think it looks like and how it behaves. Is. But the idea behind the DNA is the DNA are, the, the, that are those portions of your cells that help you adapt to the stress you're under. For example, think of the book and but the book the triangle, you have mental, emotional, spiritual kind of stress. That requires a different DNA response than say cold. That's thermal. Mm -hmm. It requires a different kind of stress than structure. Like if you want shovel snow, you do, you do physical things. It's, it requires the DNA to, from different tissue to adapt. And the thing that powers the DNA is not sugar, it's not fat, it's, think of it like a nuclear power. It comes from micro minerals that are found in real salt. Think of it like plutonium in a submarine. If you learn about submarines, nuclear powered submarines, they can put plutonium in them, they send them out to sea, they can go out a submarine for like eight or 10 years without stopping at the gas station to get more plutonium. It's very powerful. So when, you, when you're eating and you sprinkle some real salt on your food, what you're doing is making it available to your body, the power source for the DNA to adapt. If you don't use sufficient real salts, then you adapt less. Mm -hmm. And if you don't adapt, then your life expectancy shortens. And again, we never hear about this. You can underline the last word in that section is called telomeres. Telomeres. Telomeres are a portion of the, the, the length of the cells, the DNA, the strands of DNA. The longer they are, the longer you live. If you don't eat the right kind of food, you, your telomeres get shorter, so you die sooner. So the real fancy, expensive tests you can do they can look at your telomeres and say, well, you, you probably got eight years left because your telomeres are shorter. You've got, or you've got 20 because you, you have long telomeres. 
and that's associated with the DNA. The last is immunity. This is a big, big deal. I should have put it first. The immunity, think of the first responders. And we'll go back to the stem cells. The stem cells are like the wild cards and they become specialized cells. If you have a blood test, you look at your blood test, you will see the red blood cells or the white blood cells or the lymphocytes, and then they get, they get more specialized. So you, have, you have like the T cells and the B cells, you have neutrophils, you have eosinophils and basophils, all those kind of different kind of cells. Now, if you look on your blood test report that the doctor gives you, it has how many, how many you have. The important ones are, I, I give you an acronym. You can pick the first letter. Never, that's the neutrophils, let lymphocytes, never let monkeys, that's the monocytes, eat eosinophils, bananas. Never let monkeys eat bananas. Those cells will always, they will always be there. And they are the first line defenders. And what I like to compare them to is the, in our country, we have the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine, Coast Guard, State Police, National Guard. We have all these. Other ones off the other ones. They're all lined up ready to do certain things. So each of those one, the ones I gave you, they do, they have specific assignments. So for example, the T cells, they store memories of prior terrorists that have been in you. The terrorists would be like, a virus, a bacteria, a fungus, he is. So if they say something that looks similar, they go get them. You have what's called natural killer cells. And they're just, they, they're big cells. They just float around looking for trouble. And if they find it, they, they try to destroy the, the enemy. So the, again, I just give you the, a few, just the idea. And the idea is to help you gain confidence in your body's own ability to fix itself. Now, when I say fix, let me comment on what you mean. Fix means to help you survive. <clears throat> so all, all what we talked about is to help your body survive. Now, to be healthy, you have to go another step or two. And we, to be healthy, you have to do they have to eat breakfast. Uh, I saw a fellow this morning who doesn't sleep quite enough for his condition, and he spends a little bit too much time in the gym for his condition. So it's kind of the body's kind of out of sync. Not bad, but out just enough that he's not as healthy as he could be if you fine tune. And that's why we have the classes, is to help, help you fine tune. And, and some things like a little more sleep is huge, it's a huge, huge step to help you go to a new level of health function. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. okay. And sometimes it's, again, sometimes it's a simple thing like water. You might have water deficiency. And I've told you how to tell that. You look at your tongue. If your tongue is, is waved along the side, that means your body is holding water. And the rule is, if you're holding water, you need more water. Now, again, that, that creates a problem for some people because they go to a doctor and the doctor says, oh, you, 
you got you're holding water in your face, mm -hmm. so we'll put you on a diuretic to mm -hmm. drain off the water. Uh, well, there's a happy medium on uh, maintaining that balance, but it's a general rule. If you if your tongue is swollen, you have the teeth marks along the side, you need more water. Which brings us to our next topic, and that's the lymphatic system. I want to talk about that briefly. The body has lymph nodes. You, you all know about lymph nodes. You have them in various areas of your body in big bundles. Now, lymph nodes like capillaries are very close, I'm sorry, lymphatic vessels like capillaries are very close to all cells. Think, think of a, the lymphatic system like a built-in, in your home, vacuum system. You have outlets in every room. And they all collect and go to a big disposal in a container. And they only flow one way. All they do is suck. But in the, in the vacuum system, but in the lymphatic system, they have small garbage disposal-like units. They're called lymph nodes along the pathway to break down the big stuff so that it doesn't get plugged out, like a vacuum cleaner would be. If you, you, know, if you sucked up a rag or something, it might get stuck in the corner. Your body in the lymphatic system will break those down. Now, the, one of the problems with the lymphatic system is it's clear fluid, mostly clear. It's not like blood. You know, you cut, you, cut yourself and you see red. You don't see the lymph, you don't see the lymph, but there's lymph there. There's lymph everywhere. <clears throat> I mentioned earlier about the veins. The blood goes down to the capillaries, squeezes through. Now it's a now it's a venule, and now it's carrying poison waste products back toward the heart and the, the lungs and the kidneys to get rid of the, po the poison. Sometimes the, the toxins are too big to get into the vein. That's where the lymphatic system comes in. The lymphatic system sucks them up. So the, it's open-ended, suck, go to a node, break down, flows up, and get dumped back into the blood. The lymph fluid gets dumped back into the bloodstream. But it has to be broken down to do that efficiently. Now, how much lymph fluid is there in the body compared to blood? Which would you think we have the most of? Blood or lymph? Lymph. We have more Way. lymph than blood. <clears throat> Way more lymph. Way more lymph okay. than blood. But lymph moves very slow, like about two liters a day at the most. That a you know, for you Americans, a liter is a big quart. Yeah. <laughs> about one, one and a half to two, and not very much. And the blood, the blood is way, way, way more than that. Fast. And it's very, very fast. Okay. So <clears throat> because of that, the lymph, the lymph system, as efficient as it is, benefits from help. The thing that helps the lymph, the lymph flow better is breathing, diaphragm motion, mm -hmm. muscle motion. If you're in a, the, the T-zone, or if you have a, a rebounder, a small trampoline, that up and down motion moves the lymph up. If you go to a massage therapist and they say, we're going to tell you we're going to do a lymphatic drainage. We're going to clean out your lymphatic system. Just, just smile and lay down and let them do the thing. <laughs> they, they're moving just a little bit more than normal. They're not going to drain it. 
They're not going to claim it. No. But they do that benefit. It does benefit. <clears throat> but it only flows one way. So if you ever get in a massage and the massage person is pushing away from the heart a lot, just say something nice like, would you go the other way? <laughs> <laughs> please. Come on, please. 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 That feels good, but go the other way. <laughs> yeah. Now, you, you can help a muscle if you're gentle with it, but the lymph fluid <laughs> so only goes one, one way. That's how I massage the way yeah. I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah. I know, you do good. You're the best I've ever had. So. <laughs> she is. She's very good. Yeah. So take advantage of her while she's young. The valve, the valves kind of go like they open and the fluid moves and then they close so the lymph won't go back the other way. That's why you can't you can't push it back. It won't go because the valves close off. Now <clears throat> let's go to the test question: chronic inflammation. Before we do, do you have any questions at all on what I've said so far today? No. I do, I watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're dehydrated, if you're low on water, the, the lymphatic, you put the lymphatic system at a disadvantage. It needs water. And, and sometimes when I examine people, I say, you know, you think you're fat right here, but that's not fat, that's swamp water. That's dirty, backed <laughs> up, congested lymphatic fluid. When, when you talk about losing weight, you know, a person can lose weight by draining swamp water, by draining, helping to flush the lymphatic system. I like to think of it this way. A, a congested lymphatic system that's backed up is like a swamp in the mountains. We have water flowing in, but that doesn't go out. It just goes in and pools. And so the life, the life in the swamp is different than if we add more water, and now that we have enough water that the water flows through the swamp, out the other side, now we have a small lake. The lake has different life in it than the swamp. We want to, we want to have our body be like a lake. We want to have enough water going in that we flush it through and get it out of there. Okay, <clears throat> the, the, the test: chronic inflammation in the immune system. Number one: pain must be present when chronic inflammation is present. Loss. It's very common to have low-grade chronic inflammation, backed up lymph system, and have no pain. Where, where, where would be common locations for that to occur? Mouth with teeth, with like a root canal, infected gum, could be in the gut anywhere, the stomach, small, large intestine, colon. It could be in the a joint. You know, people are, oh man, I'm stiff. I, I, you know, it comes and goes, but it's not real bad, but it's there. I don't feel like it used to. That's chronic low-grade inflammation. And the best thing you can do for it, while we're on the topic, the best thing you can do for that is to strengthen the general immune system, which is starts primarily in the gut, the small intestine. So again, the floor plus is very good. Number two, chronic inflammation will affect blood counts due to elevated immune system activity. True. Three, when the general pH of the body is more acid, most inflammatory conditions become more virulent what does that word mean? Okay, I underline it for you. Yeah. Right, deadly. 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 Oh, okay. 
Let me explain briefly. If we had a petri dish, it's a little flat bowl with a lid, a pH of five, another one 5.5, five, another one is six, 6.5, seven, 7.5, eight, we had a few of them. We take some E. e. coli. You, you hear a lot about that in the news. You know, we had e. e. coli and we had to recall chickens or lettuce or something because it was contaminated. Well, if we take some E. coli and put a little bit in each dish, all of them, the one that's over here that's acid, will kill you, deadly, because it's acid. It's kind of like a woman in a bad environment. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Take her out of the bad environment, you know, mm. buy her some flowers and some shoes and a nice home, and you move her over to a better environment like the E. coli, now the E. coli you can put on your peanut butter sandwich, you know, it won't hurt you because it's alkaline. Same organism, different environment. And so that's why one of the tests we like to do is to measure the first morning urine to see how, how we're doing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, which petri dish am I? Yeah. I'm a petri dish over here making things mean or am I over here? And it's a it's a it's a project, it's a process because we always have to keep pushing over pushing to get alkaline. And the way we push to get alkaline is eating more greens. Mm -hmm. God gave us the greens to make us alkaline. I and have we, a chart at home on the fridge that I've had for years. And it it has the point what foods list yep. up here, yep. and it has the positive on this side, and yep. then you know, get in the middle, and then what foods has a list of the foods and the number that it is good for you, and then perfect. I I, I mean it it does remind you if you look at it. Yeah, if you look at it. <laughs> if I look at it. So when you go rush yourself and you make your and, list, stand by that chart. <laughs> and say, okay, I need some of this, and some of this, and some of this. Exactly. And, and have, I have some of this in my fridge, you should throw in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Don't buy that, Don't and then you it. won't eat it. <laughs> Number four, root canals and implants for frequent locations of chronic liver level inflammation. True. Five, tonsils are front stage in the prevention of, in the process of stopping and preventing chronic inflammation. Let me tell you about the tonsils. Think of the tonsils as the, the, what do I want to say? Think of them like bouncers. I've never been in a bar, but think of them like bouncers in a the bar. They, they watch people come in. They say, they say, she's a troublemaker. <laughs> He points right at me. He knows me no. pretty good. <laughs> Keep an eye on her. Bring, bring down some big guys because in a few minutes she's going to cause trouble. That's what the tonsils do. The tonsils alert the stem cells, the other specialized cells, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, to be on guard, to be ready. To protect the so what if you had your tonsils removed? Well, you have no bouncer. And I always go for the tonsils. <laughs> I had mine out when I was like six. Yeah, see, and, and I had mine out when I was like 26. Surgeons think that God gave them to them. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> and then they give them the appendix. Yeah. And then you give them a, a gallbladder. So, you know, if you're lucky and you have a good surgeon, he'll kind of clean you up. <laughs> you don't need that stuff. That's the only surgery that That's I've had. Extra price. <laughs> I'll tell you something, what, which I think is immoral. In the state of Iowa, when I went to chiropractic college, it was a state law 
if it opened the abdominal cavity for any reason, the appendix came out. Really? Yeah. They, they took out they... thousands and thousands of normal appendix because some surgeon in politics or a friend, somebody got that law. Well, it's how crazy. They, how they get away with that? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, number five, six. God has provided a vast number of herbs to facilitate the body's attempts to, for chronic and uh, eliminate chronic inflammation. True. Choose which is best, single or combo, sure. to fight problems. Combination. Oh, pardon? Combination. Combination. I, when I was a kid on the farm, I used to think I was a good shot. I would hunt ducks with the 22. <laughs> boom. Yeah. Boom. Well, that's, a, that's, that's not working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it a combination. Yeah. Number eight. Rounding, that's this bad. Rounding is a very effective, low cost procedure that has proven to reduce chronic inflammation. The two most common reports from people who use them and the research is they have less inflammation and they sleep better. And you know, when you sleep deeper, you heal better. So they go hand in hand. I recommend those. I recommend those. It's a one-time purchase that lasts you for a long time. Number nine, the immune system is located where in the body? The truth is, all of them. But then, there are typically more than a hundred lymph nodes in the immune system in the body. Lymph nodes, typically more than a hundred. Now you can you can scratch that hundred. You could put six hundred, and it's still true. Now, why so many? Well, it's kind of like it's kind of like the church. You know, we do we have. A few people trying to keep track of everything, or do we want to make ministers and have them everywhere? Lots and lots of helpers helping a few people. That's what we do with the immune system, the lymphatic system. We have a lot of lymph nodes to help a small, small area. The immune system, I read that, number 11, the body. If the body has a fever of 103, you should immediately take Tylenol and aggressively lower the, try to lower the body temperature to 98.6. False. Let me comment on that. First of all, who made the body? God. How, how smart is the body? It's so smart. Smart, the it best, I, the best doctor you will ever have lives in your body. It's, it came with your body. It's smarter than any of them. There are a lot of specialties out there. We need them. We need them. I'm not talking bad about doctors. We need the specialist doctors. But if your, if your body is getting, get, gets hot, it creates a fever, it needs one. So what do you do? Help it. How do you help a hot body? You get in a, a room temperature or... Hot yeah. pads. If hot you, pads? If you, if you get in a sauna or a hot, in a hot area, a steam cabinet, then you can elevate the body temperature. But air, keep, listen carefully, air is not as dense as water. If you get in water, you have more value. So if you get in, if you get, if I get in my sauna at 110 degrees, when you have a fever? When I have yes. a fever, it helps my body. If I get, if I lay my sauna and go get in my bathtub with water that's 110 degrees, which do you think that's the most good? The water. Well, the water. Uh -huh. Why? It's more dense. It's way more, way more dense. 
So if I help my body follow, follow the trail, if I help my body do what it's trying to do, that is create a fever, I save the body burning calories that could be used to heal my body instead of heat my body. Okay, so it has to be hot, not cool, or warm temperature. You want it above the body yeah. temperature. Oh, well, okay, so... So if the body is 100, 103, the water needs to be 104, uh -huh. 105, 106, Whoa. 107. Okay. Why? To help the body do Maybe what it's trying to do. To get a fever. To get to keep the fever. Yeah. And if you don't do that, and your body makes the fever by burning calories, then instead of you getting better in one or two or three days, it takes you two weeks. Why? Because you used up you used up the body's you reserve the body. energy. Yeah. Okay. So. Let me go further on that because a lot of grandkids get sick and they get fever. And the moms say, take it all in all, we have to bring the temperature down. All right. When I was a kid, they said, my mom would say, if the temperature gets so high, they're going to have brain damage. And so I thought, I don't know of anybody who's had brain damage from high temperature, but that's just probably right. <laughs> and then I thought, how high would it have to be? So when I got to chiropractic college one time, I decided to find out if my mom would lie to me. <laughs> <laughs> did she? She did. <laughs> that, was what they, that was what they knew at the time. She didn't know any better. But, exactly. but studies have shown that when your body has a fever of 103, keep the fever, sweat it out, and your body will get better faster. Exactly. It's not going to damage you. So I can't find any, I cannot ever find any proof that that was the case. Now, our, our granddaughter got a fever. And the, the mom is medical. The dad is chiropractic. You know, we have different opinions on what to do. This is Aaron's daughter. And so there was conflict. And, that, and finally, after a couple of weeks of going up and down and not getting better. They put her in hot water and helped her and she got better within a couple of, a couple of days. But here, here's, a, here's a point. If you get in the hot water, and you help the body with the fever, and you get out, and you stay hot for, uh, been out of the, I've been out of the bathtub for about 40 minutes and I'm still hot, get back in. You, need, you, need, you still need the fever. So get back in and do it again. If you've been out for 20 minutes and the body's settled down, you're probably done. You probably helped it do what it needed to do. Okay? That's kind of the kind of the general rule. Mm -hmm. You save a lot of suffering by helping the body do what it's trying to do. Number 12, antibiotics are always helpful with a chronic inflammation that's false. They're, they, they, are, they are helpful, they have the place, uh, but they're, you know, antibiotics get used, get used on a mass indiscriminate basis. You have any kind of symptom, you get an antibiotic. Now, on page 113 in the book, there's a phrase that says, Belief in the truth. Uh, yeah. Belief, belief. belief in the truth is empowering. And the greater the belief, the greater the power. What page was that? 113. On? It's right in the middle of the page. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, you could give a talk on that in church. <laughs> right there, right? Yeah. I have it there. Some people say, yeah, I believe in Christ. Mm -hmm. Well, how much? How much do you, you know, what is your faith level? How strong is your belief? Well, you know, <laughs> I no. encourage you to trust your body as much as you can. And, and believe in that it will heal itself. It heals itself. Yes. All healing comes from above, down, inside, out. Mm -hmm. 
Can we talk about that custom pack? Yes. Real quick. It's called, is that the exposure pack? It's called exposure protection pack. If so, you... can I just tell, talk about it real quick? Go ahead. So I've been taking, my husband got sick last week. And I don't know what he has, but he's not feeling well. And I didn't want to get it. I don't have time to be sick. <laughs> so, so I bought one of these from Dr. Smith and have been taking it every day. And guess who's not sick? This person. You are. You're My husband sick. doesn't take stuff like that, but I do. And I'm not going to get sick. So talk, what, what does it have in it? You want to talk about that? That, that will help us. With it, it has a combination of several different things that, that are proven to be effective. And they made it real easy because they have, it has a package that has about six or seven pills. You take it three times a day, morning, noon, and night. So you have, it has some, well. For 10 days, right? 10 days. For 10 days. I could read this to you, but it would take a long time, but it has, <laughs> There's a lot in it. A lot of, I mean, it's, zinc it's a very and good, it, and... zinc and turmeric and, and a lot of enzymes. The mm -hmm. enzymes, the probiotics, um, uh, very high probiotics, and that has 20 billion probiotics. Oh, wow. That's, 20 that's very, very strong. Yeah. It's a vitamin mineral from whole food. It has the, the nitric, the creat nitric, it's it's a very strong package. And she get that from my wife. She I never get sick. She always gets sick. And and what? How much is it? They they sell for sixty, but I I bought a few of them and they're fifty five. Fifty five. And okay. if you want to buy some for your friends for Christmas, that <laughs> would be a good gift. It's a good gift. Awesome. If you buy three, they're fifty instead of fifty five. I can, I if, can. if I would have known that three weeks ago, my brother got sick and he was really sick. Yeah. They they said it was just the cold because they got their shot, you know. And now his wife's sick this week. Yeah. Get her, I, only, it, Get her it, some it, good stuff to take. So I, if you know somebody who every fall they get the flu or yeah. whatever, try it. Instead of going getting the flu shot, Give him one of those. <laughs> I know, I know. It's a good product. Yeah. Thank you, Denise. My okay. Wife.